What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They make gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. Today I would like to give you five tips to help you improve at Call of Duty Modern Warfare because this game is like some CODs we have played in the past and at the same time is a lot different. So the first thing I could say is run kill streaks that you can get. I know those big air kill streaks like chopper gunners, AC-130s, all that kind of stuff. They're awesome. I mean, they are absolutely dominant. They can change the tide of the game depending on what map you're on. You can get tons of kills with them. But at the same time, if you're not getting your kill streaks consistently, you're not going to really improve your play, if that makes sense. If you can just run a UAV and a personal UAV and maybe a cruise missile, if you can get those game in and game out, guess what? You're going to see your game steadily improve. I was running the chopper gunner to begin with. I was running some of the higher air streaks to begin with. And I was just not getting them all the time. So I went to UAV cruise missile and veto my personal preference right now when I run kill streaks. I've been testing the waters with specialist a lot because I really do enjoy specialists from older CODs. I've been running it more than anything right now. But when I do run kill streaks, like I said, I just went down to that UAV, that cruise missile, and that veto. And I could get all three of those, I would guess, probably every three out of five games that I played. And the other games where I was not getting the veto, I was at least getting that UAV, at least getting that cruise missile. Like I said, these things are helping you out, helping the team out. And as you as you keep playing and you continuously get these kill streaks, game in and game out, you will start to see your gameplay improve overall. The next thing I can say, tip number two, would be slow down because guess what? Everybody else has. Uh, there's a lot of footstep sounds right now that are issues. It, the game is just really loud footstep wise. I do like to be able to hear enemy footsteps, but at the same time, they're a little ridiculous right now. Also, the maps are, are a lot different than we, what we've seen in the past. There's no three-lane maps anymore. Um, there's a lot of clutter, a lot of areas you can get shot from. So slow down right now. I would think within a couple weeks, hopefully people will start to learn the map, uh, learn the maps and pick up the pace a little bit. And also, if we can get some changes to footstep sounds, I think it will make running gun classes more viable. So maybe we'll see the speed of the gameplay, hopefully pick up the pace in the future. The next thing I would also recommend, tip number three, would be grind out a certain weapon. I know in past CODs you want to try all the weapons. You want to you know, see what you like, see what you don't like. But in this game, it takes so long to unlock attachments. I'm rank 89 in, in game right now. And I have just finished the Kilo and the M4 within the past day or so. Or as of yesterday, I finally finished the Kilo. And of course, I had the M4 done the day before that. But it takes a long time. To unlock all the attachments. Sometimes some of these attachments you unlock to begin with are better than the ones you get at the end and sometimes the last few attachments you unlock are what makes makes these guns stand out. Also I would recommend right now just kind of running around with ARs. I know I'm using an AUG on this map. It is a little bit of a smaller map but most of these maps are larger in size so ARs are dominant right now. Of course we'll probably get some balance changes here within the next couple of weeks that may change the you know tide of the game but Right now, ARs are king. I would say the Kilo or the M4 are the two best to, to go with because those are unlocked early. Try to grind those out and get everything you can unlocked attachment-wise, and you will see a big improvement in your gameplay. If you're just swapping weapons up every couple of games, not unlocking a lot of stuff for them, you're at a big disadvantage. The next thing I would recommend would be build weapons for a certain kind of role. Do you want to have more accuracy, more control, or do you want to be more of a person that can run around and, and get kind of close up close and personal which is kind of hard to do in this game but you know be able to ads quickly you know be able to aim down sights from sprint quickly build your weapons to fit one of those two play styles because if you're going with kind of a split thing i have not find found a great hybrid build yet where you can get accuracy and kind of ads speed you're wanting to either have to are you wanting either to have to have something that's going to be really accurate or something that you can get a little bit closer to enemies you don't have to worry about your accuracy too much you know control wise with the weapon because these weapons do have a ton of recoil and depending on what attachments you have on them that recoil can definitely screw you up in a lot of situations because the time to kill is so quick and if you miss a couple bullets you're pretty much done if the other if the enemy that you're facing is not missing their shot so find something within your weapon build that works for the play style that you're wanting to use and work on this, those attachments. So if you're wanting something that's all accuracy, make sure you find accuracy and control. If you need recoil, if you have recoil issues, make, make sure you're finding things that fix the recoil for that weapon and so on. And last but not least, make sure you're tap firing your weapon. Like I said, these weapons have lots of recoil. 
uh, lots of uh, kind of side to side side visual bounce. So make sure you're tap firing your shots. Even when you unlock everything, it's still hard to just full auto these weapons most of the time. It's the best to always, you know, kind of ADS be pre fired, be or be ready to pre fire, you know, pre aiming those corners and tap fire that weapon. You will see a, a big improvement in your accuracy with all the guns in the game. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you have a chance, share the video. It always helps out the channel. Of course, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.